prison. It's not prison. It's really not because you're still going to work. But at the end of the day, like I said, I'm your confidant. I'm your trustee. I'm your your accountant. You know so what I mean? You, okay, so that means you don't have no friends either. Nah. What's good, YouTube fam? It's your girl, China Ahu Party, coming to you live. Kendra G posted this video of a guy on her show, was married to a trust fund girl, family made her divorce him, and next girl can have no friends. <laughs> This man has been scarred, okay? Let's get right into it. Okay, you have any kids? Nope. You ever been married? Nope. Well, yes, yes, no. When did you get divorced? Like 2017, well, 2007. About a year, 2007. I got married 2006. Why'd I get divorced? Hold on, I've just gotten confused a few times. <laughs> have you been married? Nope. Yes, yes, no. And then he said 2017. Then he said 2007. Wait, but then he got married in 2006. Let's just leave it at he's been married before. I think he just needs to put that blunt down. Okay. So fast. She was making more. She was the trust fund baby. So, you know, listening to her aunties and everything like that, they felt like I would take everything. So it was love there. But, yeah, being that her aunties got in her head, felt like I would take you know so the family hand. felt like so she had money oh yeah of course oh that's important to you no nah, it's not important to me that's what i say her fit like see when i get with a woman i want her to cut her friends off because i feel like when people get in her head they mess up the order of things so let me say this okay we just jump from one topic to the next out of nowhere this wasn't a cut like he literally just naturally went into that i understand family that can get a little too involved in somebody's relationship yeah you might want to give advice every now and then if you see something happening in that relationship but those that put their nose too much into that relationship that shit is annoying there are too many times when family and friends just give bad advice based on it off of their own experiences and their horrible intuition you know what i'm saying so you got to stop that but what I'm still confused about is that he's saying the family caused the divorce, but then he's saying you can't have any friends. So I think he wants you to cut off the family and the goddamn friends. It's just me and you, baby. That's all it is in his head. No more of that. You need to depend on somebody. You depend on me. Okay, we understand that experience. But now mm -hmm. moving forward, you want a woman that's going to cut her friends off? Cut her friends off. Yeah, all that. All about about me. So the girl you're looking for... Next, can't have no friends. No friends. I'm her only friend. I'm your best friend. I'm your confident. I'm your counselor. I'm all that. That seems yeah. like this man has got to be trolling because nothing just came out of that. Whatever he's smoking or whatever he's smoking, he's got to stop because it's messing up his mental. He thinks he's smoking it now. He doubled down. He really meant that. Does he think that's okay? At least he's laying his cards out on the table because if you choose to date this man, hey. That's on you. This is a toxic relationship. He wants you to depend on him and nobody else. He wants nobody else around. That is some control to the extreme. This is not a relationship. This is a dictatorship. Prison. It's not prison. It's really not because you're still going to work. But at the end of the day, like I said, I'm your confidant. I'm your trustee. I'm your, your accountant. You know what so I mean? You, okay, so that means you don't have no friends either. Nah, yeah. I go to work at home. That's it. Go to work at home. That's it. So, so I she can't celebrate. Three. So she can't go to one of her college friends. Wedding. She can. Well, that that gonna probably along with me being there, or you know maybe I'll be like you know go ahead go with your friends, but make sure you make it back home. But at the same time, like yes, yeah, she can't have no friends. I'm your only friend. Like I'm the one you should trust in. I'm the one you should provide. You know what I mean? No. I've never heard so many contradictions in a 30 second time span. You can have friends, but you can't have friends. You can go out and have fun with your friends, but I'm your only friend. God damn it, you're going out with me, plot twist, okay? <laughs> and only me, that's it. What is up with this dude? What relationship was he in before to make him think that this is okay? I hope this is a troll, but this is crazy. People really do think like this. This is probably real. We never know nowadays. And this is why he's single. You're confident. No, I what don't. What do you mean you don't understand I that? Can like, understand, what do you mean? Now, I understand what you just saying that we would become best friends. Yeah. And I think that eventually, yes, you want to grow into a space where it's you two against the world. But to say 
keep her isolated from friends, period. Seems very controlling, seems very insecure, and it seems very, for lack of better words, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Like, well, that's how, crazy. Okay, how you figure that, though? Because as the man, I, I thought the man was supposed to be the guider and the teacher. So yeah, but you could be the guy. Me, no, 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 hold, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me okay. finish. So by me saying the guy and the teacher is I should be the provider and the teacher. So I'm protecting you from foolishness that you don't. You know what I'm saying? That you don't have to absorb. So. Oh Lord, I think he went into the red pill realm on YouTube, and and this is what he thinks a relationship should be now. Cause this is crazy. This is giving red pill unrealistic expectations of a woman and just toxic he who wants to be the teacher be the guider provide guidance and then he said i'm going to be the provider he wanted to rhyme a little bit with it i guess he, he spit in some lyrics i don't know a grown woman does not always need protection like that like yeah a man can protect his woman you know when she needs it but protect her from things in life she's a grown woman she has life experiences she's made it without you this far I'm pretty sure she could continue to make it along without your protection from things. What he's saying, he sounds like he wants to keep her sheltered. Okay, that's the problem. Sheltering her is not protecting her. I mean, be, you know what I mean? Trusting no. your man, trusting, like I said, your man should be the provider and the protector. When it's three o'clock in the morning, something knocking on the door, I'm going to handle that. You know what I mean? When the, but, trash, okay, people, when the trash get overloaded, yeah, I'm going to take that out. You get what I'm saying? So as the man, he should be the one that lay down the law like to to protect you because at the same time he preaching things that that just prevent you from fuckery that you can, you know what I mean, that you should absorb. You get what I'm saying? So let me jump in. Go ahead. That sounds like a life of misery and depression. For that woman and i do not recall the last time or actually in my lifetime where there was somebody knocking on the door at three o'clock in the morning for one if he's saying protecting her at three o'clock in the morning from intruders they're not knocking on the door they're going to just come in okay <laughs> let's just go ahead and call that out but in my lifetime i have not experienced that majority of women do not experience something like that but i do understand again if he's willing to protect her that's good protect her from intruders from people who are bad but come on now give us something better than this sir your explanations are not making sense. They're not justifying everything you said. Not yet. Taking out the trash. That's a gentleman thing. That's a very nice thing to do, but a woman can still do it. What else you got? There are some things that you said as her man that you want to do. I agree with. The biggest disagreement you would get from me is you can do all those things and she can still have friends because life is full. And if you want to isolate her from the world, then that to me is the issue because Life should be more than just her relationship with you. Well said, Kendra G. All right, y'all. We got to take a look at these comments real quick. Ladies, if he says you can't have friends, run. <laughs> is he slow or just high as hell? <laughs> I think this is really him. The, the smoking has nothing to do with it. Maybe the smoking has messed up his brain a little bit, but over time. Shout out to aunties. They saw this in him. <laughs> oh, yeah, for the divorce. Yeah, something's off. This is a, a good time for friends and family to tell the significant other, hey, something's off about this guy. Like I said, I know sometimes family and friends, they get into relationships too much into other people's business, but this might have been a good thing for that young lady who married him before. Where does she find these people? The more I watch these videos, the less I want to date. The spliff is not even lit. He look a little delayed. <laughs> Dudes really have no leadership skills talking about, I'm the leader. That's a fact. Where's the smoke? Bro sounds controlling. Leave this one alone, ladies. I knew the women were going to have their comments on this one, but I do appreciate that the men also called this out. Hopefully he sees these comments and kind of changes his thoughts and how he's going to proceed into the next relationship because that's just crazy. That is just some scary stuff. That's a toxic relationship. Whatever woman wants to enter into that based off of what he said right here, don't do it. Run is correct. Anyways, what do you guys think about this? Drop a comment down below. Would y'all date him? Women? Men? How do y'all feel about this? Y'all think this is normal? Like, I don't. <laughs> but anyways, until next time, I'm China. I who party. I'm out.